follow. It's no idea the idea of making of designing a little um game board. Um because I'm very fascinated with the Hallmark game board design. I will show you. Just here. So it's here. this star shape and what I want to do is I want I would like to draw some star shapes and make them um, I, I think it would be cool to have one and then another one and they have to go from one through some passage and then to the other star through the other star I think that would be cool and I'm just gonna draw a little bit So here's my paper, I can actually... So this is happens when I... This happens when I... I can draw some of the... The nice star shapes. Like a David star. On this side I already... I already draw. On this side I already draw two of them. Basically, two triangles and make them as, as perfectly as I can with a, with a square root grid. Yeah, I have the square root grid. Okay, so here are my, my star shapes. I wonder how I can how I can make them intersect. I make another one. Can I make another one? So let's say green. If green is starting here, I wonder. This is a weird one because at the end would be right here. So where does it finish? Because if this one is finishing here, that would be quite cool. Or maybe maybe the opposite, and then. Next star, so maybe if this is the green one, so maybe instead of here, here, so he basically has to go on one um, height, so to say. I'm gonna take the pants, and then there's this one, let's take this one. Across and yeah, that's this one is gonna be the furthest away. Maybe that's a drawback, or maybe that's a, a um, benefit. But I don't think it's a benefit. Maybe if 
just start here. Not just across, but across on the next star that would be here. I don't think it makes sense, if I'm honest. I don't, I don't think it makes sense, no. What about this? Um, so I have this one. Go across. So if there's just like half of the board open to cross, it's quite difficult. Yeah. These are quite close. These two. These are different. Quite far away. This is not symmetrical. If this one goes close, and this one goes, and if this one goes, maybe here, yeah, and then this one, no, no, if this one, if this one goes here. I think I'll have to be very... I need to check this carefully. So the outside, lower outside, and the upper inside. Mm, well, I'll take this one. Lower inside. It's the outside, so maybe... Maybe that's how it could work. That's how it could work. Take a green one. The green one is um, upper outside, so maybe lower inside. Maybe that makes sense. And white. Forget these the inner triangles. So there, there will be one. There's one. And there's one. There's one. There's one. And I wonder should I leave this little um zigzag cut off? Because then everybody has to go in the slightly in the middle, so this becomes this here becomes the center of the board. I will think about that. I will make another design. Okay, I will make another design. I'm very curious. <laughs> Just continue the the main hexagon. What if I just continue the main hexagon like that? And then I don't add in all the triangles. Come on. Make them very nice. Make actually nice and as easy as easy as, as, easy as I can make them. structure of the board wouldn't it wouldn't be a problem because it's just mainly a copy of this part once again here that would be quite nice and then I need to remember from here to here I think that's how I would do it 
from here to here. distant from the from one triangle to the not to the other. to make it like this um, so every every player has to cross this these two in the center and then some more like one two three four five six four five and I think that's gonna be five for every three players, one, two, three, each of them goes across, so one, two, three, and is this one four, yeah, okay, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, it doesn't seem intuitive, no, doesn't seem intuitive because this will be just like one two three and then one two three so why is this if I if I swap yellow and blue then yellow would be like one of the f furthest they would be so they have the longest way to travel so I want to try to avoid the I, I would like to avoid the, the the unfairness yeah it should be fair it should be fair I'm gonna make something that's a little more a little further apart than this one And yeah, I think it's that that'll be a more difficult. That'll be more. That'll be a more difficult thing to design because with this one I can kind of imagine how it looks finished. But I had this one idea in my mind. I want to share. So here's one start, and then it's like a really small connection.
How am I doing this? So they're basically all of them, they kind of need to go through smaller triangles. Like this. Yeah, maybe like this. So bad. Across that's already two. Hmm, it looks so long. This too, right? I guess it doesn't matter. So this one has more now? Yeah. Oh, that's the reason. <laughs> okay, I need to try it again. So that's an octagon. That's an hexagon. Yeah. I'll do it again. This was kind of correct, but then I need to go back like that. Goes like that, so make me. Yeah, it's not. Let's try it like that. The really long line. They can go if this was a perfect, like some sort of nice connection. Um, looking at the board, but um, maybe like one, two, three, one, two, three. Maybe like that. I just think it's nice to come up with um, different ways of playing this game. Now, um, how should they? How should they be walking? <laughs> um, how should they be walking? If this is one, two, three, four, five. So five players, and this is one, two, three, four. 
or five. So he's kind of close, but he has to go around the corner. He's the furthest. So furthest here or here. Furthest here or here. So that's not that's completely not fair. Or maybe just one one. What if there were two connections, like one connection here and one connection here? So you just say uh, one side like this. So they overlap, but that's, that's annoying. I mean, you can't. You want to make like eternal, eternal jumps <laughs> across the world. I will, I will try to say it's just one, one connection. Also, if you play this with actually like two, three or five, four or five players, this spot is gonna be so crowded, blocked, and probably here too. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be so, like so blocked. I don't, I don't think there's anything that it's nice to play. And what if you just combine them and you make this? These triangles are simply part of the main game. So you basically you connect them in, in this massive field way. So, so you get this shape. Um, parallelogram. I'm, I'm gonna go with this idea. Draw that again. So basically remove Remove these two and put them together. I wonder how I can make this. Um, two, two, two. Down one, two, three. That's part of the main game. Cut off these triangles. And then one of oh, these, these are the triangles too. So all I have is this um, star that's basically ripped apart the star that's basically ripped apart like this if this is all part of the main game I kind of want to make zigzags on here too Well, for example, this would be perfectly symmetrical there. This answer of distances is, is very easy. For example, oh no, is this still the longest? Maybe. Yeah. Hmm. This could be still the longest now. Let 
interesting. I just, I just have another idea for the distance problem. If I just make, take that and place it, just place it here. So I have these um, triangles and a better separation. is here, one of them is here, one is here, these initial ones, and then I'll just be like this, like that. quite far into the game, so basically you need this as a field to go, this too. So if orange goes here, I'll just make them go parallel. But if they can simply go parallel, there's no, there's no way they can annoy each other. So I think this will be more boring. And this is super short once again, I think. Short. Short. this inverted idea. Maybe I can use it for something else. So if this is further away and then inverted, maybe I can invert them like this. And have them be all really close to each other. This is a lot smaller than this on the outside. It's really small. And I like how they can totally annoy each other. So this guy can be blocked so easily if they want to block him. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I could do else. Um, so far, I like this one. This just looks like a solid idea. However, it's very similar to the star one, to the main one, to this one. I want to go with the fish style one. It looks like a fish. Mm try to make this one better.
this is nice. If I just hold up it like halfway, like this, uh, I'm going to make it like that. Um, invert it. No, small one. Compact. Compact inverted. Okay, that's really small. But I don't know what to do in here. I think the if two players can block the third one, it's not a good design. What if I, cro I can maybe if I can cross them over, like yellow to here? Yeah, I like that. Way is yellow's path is a bit longer, orange's path is a bit longer, so maybe it's not so easy to block them. This one, I'll try even further away. Yeah, I will try even further away. Lines are very thin. So now if these are starting here, the inverted ones. Basically you fold them inside and it looks like a fish. Okay, so there is, I can hear some background noises, I will stop. 